Thirty years ago, the first full week of May was designated Public Service Recognition Week to recognize and to honor the men and women who serve our nation as federal, state, county, and local government employees. This year, our nation celebrates Public Service Recognition Week, May 3rd through the 9th. The theme this year is Government Works. Public servants do amazing things across our great nation, around the world, and in your hometown and community. This week acknowledges their accomplishments and recognizes the significant challenges they take on each and every day. Americans are served every single day by public servants at the federal, state, county, and city levels. These unsung heroes do the work that keeps our nation working. Public service employees take on not only jobs, but oaths and many risk their lives each day in the service to the people of the United States and around the world. I am proud to be a part of an organization that consists of public servants, both in and out of uniform. Army Contracting Command has a very important mission and you are an essential part of mission success. Day in and day out, your professionalism and expertise are demonstrated across the globe as ACC supports our Army and the Department of Defense. You have stepped up and accepted the tough missions and you see those missions to completion. With unmatched perseverance, you deliver the critical resources and services so many service members depend upon. You defend our country abroad and provide our service members with the support and services they deserve when they return home. In his message to Congress in 1961, President John F. Kennedy expressed his gratitude to the country's public servants, saying, I have pledged myself and my colleagues in the Cabinet to a continuous encouragement of initiative, responsibility, and energy in serving the public interest. Let every public servant know, whether his post is high or low, that that person's rank and reputation in this administration will be determined by the size of the job he does, not by the size of his staff, his office, or his budget. He continued by saying, let the public service be a proud and lively career. Let every man and woman who works in any area of our nation's government, in any branch, in any level, be able to say with pride and with honor in future years, I served the United States government in that hour of our nation's need. I speak for all of us when I say thank you for your service. Thank you for your commitment to ACC and to the mission. Thank you for what you do every day to support ACC and our service members around the world. Thank you for your commitment to our Army our nation, together we are all Army, Army Strong. strong.